Assalamualaikum and hi to everyone. Thank you for watching this video. So in this video, we continue on discuss about the carry principle. Uh, still under the mobile technology. So the first thing you know about the uh, shrinking the web application is not good when you design a mobile application. You need to take into the consideration of the what the device itself have what the features that the mobile device has in order to create the mobile application so in this video we discuss about the carry principle so the carry principle uh, on creating your mobile device and uh, mobile application so the user typically carries the device everywhere all the time well 2009 so when we talk about the mobile application, we need to consider that the user of mobile application or the user of mobile device will always carry the device everywhere and all the time because the device is mobile and they live to tie together with the device. So there are several principles. the carry principle implication on the device okay the first is about the form the form factor of device must be small to ease the portability and make it easy to carry okay then battery powered with integrated keyboard keypad or touch screen so the form must be small enough in order for them is to carry. Second is about the features. Features in device are usually tightly integrated in the single board. And this includes every sensors and other equipment such as camera. Which might be used by the user and number third is about the user interface small screen drive device to use a single window okay so single window user interface so showing a single page at a time ui tends to be able to fold or slide into view in order to save space and increase the readability by the users. So these are the principles that as a developer or mobile developer, you need to take into consideration when you want to design or to develop a mobile application. Okay. Uh, you must consider that when the user that will use your application will install the application inside the mobile device so the mobile device itself is portable and mobile so they will carry the device everywhere so your application must uh, consider the factor of power consume of your application because the device use a battery and the battery uh, is needed in order to allow your application to be run on the devices okay so the battery power is not only uh, to turn on your application but it's also integrated with the uh, touch screen with the others uh, device or sensor okay for the features part uh, because the mobile device is a small so it may 
integrated with many others hardware yeah such as a camera uh, sensors and other equipment uh, bluetooth module okay so you can take the advantage of those kind of equipment or module that already built in to the mobile device and in terms of the user interface uh, you need to remember that uh, the size of the screen is not big as a, a desktop monitor the size is just like a palm okay uh, 5 inches to 6 inches for smartphone and then tablet only like a book okay so you need to consider that kind of palm so because of that features okay you need to design the interface of the mobile application that really suitable with the user they only able to see one page in a time compared to the desktop you can have multiple uh window so for the uh, mobile device they only have a single window so how to design the interface to make it attractive towards your user and to make them easy to handle the uh, system the application itself so that are the principles that you need to uh, bear in your mind before you can uh, develop your mobile application so that's all about the carry principle in uh, designing your mobile applications so in the next video we continue on the uh, difference between the uh, web mobile native mo mobile okay, actually in mobile application we have uh, web mobile we have the native mobile and we also have the hybrid combination of the web and the native is become the hybrid Example of the native just like the Android application. Uh, the hybrid is like a combination of the operating system of the device with the application like Flutter, uh, Ionix that only for certain, certain uh, operating system. So that's all for this video. Thank you and Assalamualaikum.